In this video, we'll show you how to manage your waitlist and add or drop a class. If you are on the waitlist, it is important to check your student email. Log in to My Portal, then click on the email icon. When you receive an email that states you have been authorized to add, you will have four days to add that class. To add, log in to My Portal and then Self Service. Under the Academics tab, select the section Register slash View My Schedule. If you have permission to add a class, this message will appear. Click the Register button. If you haven't received an email authorizing you to add, attend the class and talk to your professor. If you are on the waitlist, you will have priority over students who are not on the waitlist. Now let's talk about how to add an online class after it has already started. If you are waitlisted for the online class, email the professor before the class begins. You can find the professor's email in the section details. If you are not on the waitlist for a class you need, you still might be able to add. Contact the instructor via email. Remember to always have your student ID number available to add any in-person or online classes. Once you are authorized to add the class, you can log back into self-service and complete your registration. Up next, dropping a class. If you plan to drop a class, check with your college counselor. Dropping a class might affect your financial aid status and your student educational plan. Make sure to drop the class before the deadline so you don't get charged for the class. You can find these important deadlines on your portal under upcoming events. To drop a class, log into My Portal and select Self-Service. Go to your schedule and click the drop button to remove the class. If you want to drop a class due to a time conflict, check View Other Options to see what other times are available. Click Add a Section and your schedule will automatically update. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out for help. Call us at the Welcome Center or schedule an appointment with your counselor. Thanks so much for watching this video. We hope that this helped you with your registration process. If you have any more questions about registering, be sure to contact our friends at the Welcome Center and or check us out on YouTube. Thanks for watching.